Not only do remote systems expand the attack surface, but remediating and cleaning remote infected systems can be challenging. In a previous video, we saw an attacker use a remote system to gain access to high value targets through the corporate VPN. In this demo, we'll remediate that system using CrowdStrike Falcon's Real Time Response, or RTR. In a brief recap, we saw that our attacker leveraged a malicious attachment in Outlook on the system of a remote worker to execute PowerShell. As we select different phases of the attack, we get specific details listed below, including full command line arguments. In this information, we see they then change the registry to establish persistence. Using CertUtil, they downloaded and then started a keylogger. They then ran Mimikatz to steal additional credentials. At that point, they uploaded their own script to discover other hosts on the network. Finally, using the stolen credentials, they moved laterally to other systems through the corporate VPN. We know we've got an attacker in our environment. We know the tools they're using, and we need to take action. Our first step will be to kill the keylogger directly in the console. Once that's done, we're going to network contain this system. By containing a system, we prevent any communication to or from this host that might be malicious. We now use a RTR to connect to this system and get it back to a known good state. Real-time response can directly interact with the host with built-in commands such as get, put, kill, or even memdump. But RTR also takes remote response to the next level by permitting any custom scripts to be run. Those scripts could include anything from restoring a system, wiping a machine altogether, or just pulling logs. However, in this case, we know exactly what the attacker did, and we'll start by grabbing the script he used for system discovery, for later analysis, and perhaps an IOC sweep of our environment. Once we have that, we can delete the file. We also know he changed the registry. So, we check the key, and see that it now opens a command prompt. We'll delete that key to remove that access, and then, Run the command again just to be certain it's been deleted. We have now undone all the steps the attacker took and, after resetting their passwords, can get this remote user back to work without them having to ship their laptop to IT and be offline for days. Real-time response gives us all the tools needed to quickly and efficiently remediate remote systems, saving organizations large amounts of time and money.